the first game against Villa, I, I'm not confident for it, but I also don't look at their team and think they have an any better team than us. No, no, I know. I, I'm, I'm quietly confident. I've, obviously, I've put West Ham as overachievers for my season prediction. So, um, I'd like, to, mate, I'd be happy either way. But I, I genuinely think we're going to turn up with the bits. I think he's obviously Alvarez didn't play, so that was the only probably first team that didn't play. But um, you had Guaido, Rodriguez, and Suchek being in the sixes, well, mm-hmm. six and eight. That seemed to work. Guaido Rodriguez apparently had a blinder. I, I, as you say, I, I didn't watch it all, but. Um, I think that's how we'll play against Villa. I think we'll play two sixes. Well, I was on Facebook yesterday after your game, and uh, something <laughs> caught my eye. And it's kind of statement type questions. Mm. And obviously, you started last time. I want to kind of get your opinion and your thought on it. So there's seven, but I'll go for the first one. Okay. So well, I'll be quick. Paqueta is like your new manager's main man in the middle. Yeah, uh, Kudos will predominantly be played wide unless our games he feels we can play both in the middle yeah. and sacrifice more defensive mm-hmm. midfielders. Mm-hmm. True. Yeah. I, well, I think I said that. Did I not say that last week, I think? Yeah. Uh, it, my, my midfield three against the quote-unquote lesser teams, I know that's probably disrespectful to some teams, but lesser teams, my midfield three would be Kudos Paqueta and Alvarez. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, think, I, I think I said this to you last night. I think if you give a front three right now, of some of it on the left, Burn on the right, Full Krug, Paqueta and Kudus. I think we could possibly be one of the most exciting teams in the Prem. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm very excited to see us play, to be honest, mate, against Prem opposition. And I think, sorry, I'll, I'll spread it out there as well. I think they're right, because I think you'll see Paqueta in a different level this year due to the freedom that I think you'll yeah. get. Yep. Yeah, Especially a... even against the bigger teams, because you'll have the whole centre of the pitch and I think we'll play a double pivot against both big teams. Yeah. Yep. Second one, Marvel Panos will be the player that misses out due to Tadebo coming in with the Frenchman starting alongside Max Kilman. Uh, yes, I would agree. That's probably our first team partnership. I think he's brought in Tadebo as a backup because I don't know. Uh, Marvel Panos was very good last year. So, oh, sorry, I'm sorry, I'll let you in in a second. Marvel Panos was very good last year, but he had, he had moments. I think they're all, when you can see, I think 78 goals in one season, and he works mm-hmm. since Hallie Ever. I think. Every defender's had a bit of a man like, but Math was probably the best out of the bad bunch. I'd agree. I I, I, d- I don't really like as Math was cast last year. I, I enjoyed watching him play. It was probably a ring in some old school centre back as well. So I I, I don't want to see him miss minutes, but I don't know a lot about the geese that were brought in. I, I, I genuinely need so, to go a step further. I think if Juan Masaka wasn't signing, I think Nabi Panos might start a right back. And I'll just slag you lot off with playing full centre back, but I can actually see us doing that. He's putting Mav on the rock because he's not slow. He's quite quick. Yeah. Centre back. Yeah. And I could see us using that as almost like a springboard to play a bit more of an attacking lineup. Mm. It's having those three centre backs that Emerson push up into, yeah. his, into his usual strength and then moving over into almost like a back three. And the good thing about Tadebo, Kilman, and Mav is all of them can play football with their feet. Mm. And that's what we've been lacking for so long. This one might get your back up a bit. The Hammers revert back to Moyes' era lack of possession when Suchek and Ward Prowse are in the midfield together. Yeah, they won't play. I, th- I don't think they'll play together. Um, but I agree. I, I think they they're both very negative on the ball. I think I think you get proper, one. You, yeah, you, you get. I I don't. I genuinely think if Guido Rodriguez, I think he'll be bedded in quite phased. I could be completely wrong by the way. He could play straight away, but I'd be very surprised. I'd like to see Wardy with more freedom though. Well, that's what I was going to say. I think I think someone like a Villa, I I can see his player maybe Paquette and Ward-Prowse and Alvarez, if Alvarez mm-hmm. is fit. The, the reason why Guaido and Suchet were, t- were the is Alvarez apparently isn't fully matched fit yet from yeah. being back from the copper. But, but I think Wardy, given playing in a negative team under Moyes, now playing in... I, I don't know how he fits in that 4-3-3, three, three, though. I think yeah. ball-player ball wise though. Ward-Prowse, yeah. It'd be interesting. I'm interested to see. Well, you've, you've hit the next one. Rodriguez is going to be a proper midfielder, runs the midfield and is integral to our possession-based style of play. Do you know what it'll be? I'm calling this now, as I said, I've only seen 20 minutes of him. I'm calling him as prime Suchek a couple of years back. He looks he looks dominant, he looks physical, and the only thing he can do that Suchek has kind of lost the ability to is fucking pass the ball. Because mm. <laughs> Suchek can't seem to do that. No, the one thing Suchek always brings is he touches every blade of grass, doesn't he? He's ju- he just runs, and hopefully this will bring out a bit more. Yeah, yeah fair enough. Uh, Paquette and Bowen are near and world-class when they play together. Yeah. 
I think I've, I've said that about Paqueta for the last six months on this pod, is I think when he is in form, I don't think there's necessarily an out-and-out out playmaker that's better in the Prem. Better as in, I mean, when I mean out-and-out out better, as in, I mean, I put him in the same category mm-hmm. as Bruno Fernandes, because I think Bruno Fernandes is world-class. I'd probably put him in the same category as maybe a De Bruyne, Erdegaard, those sort of players. Mm-hmm. I think he's up that level. I think I think Bowen is as well. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I think I think there's times where he has quiet spell, but I don't think there's a player on the right hand side that you say doesn't. No, because I, I think he'll be lamped into centre forward yeah. if Falk doesn't work straight away. Yeah. I don't, from what I have seen of Julian Lopetegui, is he does not fuck about. No, no if you ain't working, not. we're going to try something else. Yeah. Next one, I, I don't necessarily agree with Somerville and that Brazilian boy you signed yeah, a couple, on, like last month. Are likely to start on the bench. Uh, I'll let you answer. I think some of it will. I think some of it will start on the left. I, I could genuinely see him starting, but I, I don't know about the other boy. I don't think he'll start. It, it, it will be benched. Still be benched. I, but some of it I can see being benched. I think some of it will start if Kudu starts in the middle. Because okay. the, 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 out and out, the out and out choice is, is Kudu can't play up front. He ain't going to play up front. So the only other place he can play is either in the centre, on the right or on the left. Well, he ain't getting in in front of Bowen mm-hmm. right now. Although I don't think it's bad having competition on that side either, to be honest with you, because Bowen can't do some of the things that Kudus can. Mm-hmm. But I think Kudus will be, will be put out on the left, which isn't his stronger side, but being put out on the left when he can't play in that middle. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I'd probably tend to agree. Both of them will probably be benched. I forgot about Kudus when I was thinking about it. Yeah, no. I, I... We have so much going forward this season. It's actually scary. Yeah. Is that going to be counterproductive, though? Like, no. as much as attacking. Do you know what I want? Prowess you've got? Is I, it going I, to... I think a lot of players are going to be. I think the players that, that uh, J Lo's inherited from Moyes, I think, are going to. I think, he's, I think the first couple of games, he's going to be a bit of a shock with how much freedom they get. Mm-hmm. But I think. It will, I think it'll work wonders. I genuinely think that they'll... they'll this is well, for too long, sorry, for too long now, it's been, we, I think we've literally, last season, Suchek, oh, well, he'll play regardless because Moyes plays him. Oh, well, Antonio's quiet. Well, we have to play him because we have no one else. Hmm. We've had this for fucking years. And he seems to brought people in and go, and basically, I think he's going, he's turning around and going, I, that's what I think he's so impressed well. On a, on a, that's why I think he's there for an extra year because if Everton can't do the back checking defensive wise one that you can guarantee from Cresswell he's alright at the back well, I'd, do you know what I'd actually just genuinely be happy to see squad rotation I'm, yeah. I'm actually just looking forward to seeing this is one of the first time in years that you can actually do it if you look at it you yeah, have yeah, for it free it can change it uh, uh, alright okay it's, it's still a drop off because I do think Bayern's one of the best right wings in, in the league but there is a drop off but we actually have a whole front three we've used, changed that up. Our midfield can be put in so many different combinations. Our back line is the only thing I'm worried about. But I don't think when you start signing Tadivo and Kilman and Wamasaka, I think then you need to go for throat with Ariola. I don't think he's good enough. Yeah. Last one, um passionately put this on was he's undecided on whether J Lo will start Antonio or Fulkrug against Villa. I... So the question is who would you Play. Well, who would I start or how would I play? No, who would you start out with? I'd start full group. Um, yeah. Oh, I thought there was going to be more of that. I was, um, well, I was going to, I was going to go. Uh, if I, well, it would depend. I'd probably start with full crew, but if it wasn't working or they were shutting him out, then yeah, I'd, sh- I'd swap Antonio on and run their legs out. Um, but I think, I think against more defensive opposition, I'd start Antonio for the first half. Let him run ragged and cause nothing but problems. Then I put full crew on to take advantage. Yeah. I, I'm um, <clears throat> I'm playing the fifth on this. Uh, I genuinely think Villa will play a high line next week against us. I mean that's the way they play. They're like playing a high line. I wouldn't pick any of them. I would love to see a front three of some of it on the left, Kudus on the right, and Bowen around the middle. I've, I said this start last season. Bowen. Happily play in the middle. He played in the middle for the for the first half of the season. We were flying. He played in the middle because he's just better than Antonio. I don't care what anyone says. He, what I want is, is is Villa. Villa always play that high line, and I think if Paquette, I'd actually like to see Paquette Awardy 
and Alvarez as a midfield three. The only reason why is you have three runners in that front three, mm-hmm. and I think Ward Prowse and Paquette are our best ball players in the mids. Bowen Daddy he surprises me quite a bit. He's like a pit bull. He just he's he, he's he doesn't look like he should have the physicality for a striker, but he does, and he just keeps going. Yeah. If, if if he doesn't beat his man in the first try, he doesn't then go. I'm just going to turn on and keep yeah. going back. He's going to keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing Do it until he actually does it. I think that that's because a lot of right wingers now go down as soon as someone sniffed them. Salah, bad for it. No, but what he's, no, but what he's saying is a lot of wingers, um, a lot of wingers. Saka does this. I'll, I'll say this. Saka tries to beat his man, doesn't beat him, and instead of actually he doing it over and over again, it, he'll go back down the yeah. line or he'll cut in and either try and cross it or shoot. I yeah. just think he just... he. he you know yeah, Bowen is on the right? Bowen is a lot like Martinelli. Martinelli's like that. Martinelli's a... He, he, he's, he goes... He'll yeah. go for your throat for eight minutes. That's yeah. one thing you can always guarantee with him. And I, I think that's why he doesn't. he's not going to start many games this season. I think it's the same as you, what you're saying. 70-odd, 80-odd minute, bring Antonio on, run the yeah. defence. Yeah, I'm... I'm I'm interested to see how many players he beds in at once against Villa. Because I think if we sign Wan Bissaka on Monday, oh, he on. plays. I think. I don't think Tadebo does. Yeah. I think it's probably Kilman, Mav, Emerson on the left, Ariola in goal. As I've said, I'd like to see Ward Press, Alvarez and Paqueta. I don't think it will be that. I think it'll be probably Guaido, uh, Guaido Alvarez and Paqueta, I would think. That's probably why he played that he played I think he played an hour. Of that mm. um, against against sort of ego, so I, I can't see him not doing that. And then the front yeah. three, I'm in the front three. We've got such an adaptive front three now, where we can, if you're going to sit off us, chuck Fulcrug on because it's mm. airily dominant. Yeah. But then if you're going to have on the high line, you could equally put Bowen in the centre, uh, Kudus out on the right, and Sullivan yeah. on the left. You have three runners. That's what Sullivan yeah. would bring it out of Leeds. Yeah. Um, I do think Antonio is still an asset. I just don't think he's there for the goal score. So the good thing is now, though, no, he's not a winger, though. He's not near no, 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 he's not a winger. But I think, like, if if it's against a highly defensive team, I think he's classed to put on because he does just knack a centre back. What, what's he's a, such a problem? What's a good thing is I felt towards the end of the season, his art wasn't in it, and I think there is parts of Antonio's career at West Ham when his art isn't in it. Yeah, and. I think now he has to. He has to. Well, the, he... that's the argument, isn't it? Is will now that we've finally got Moyes at the club with his negative, blame everyone else sort of attitude, maybe Antonio will pick it up again because you, you've, we've, we've all seen when his head's in it and he's loving the challenges, he I goes for it. Imagine, he's, he's I, I can imagine he's horrible to play against. Yeah, he's just such an awkward player. And as a centre back, I can imagine he's a nightmare because he's quick, but he's also a monster. Yeah. Like uh, uh, and he's not afraid to challenge anyone. He's, he'll just go for it. You know, West Ham's this team with deceptiveness. It's outrageous the, talent this year. You've got Full Krug, hmm. who's tall and does not. Oh, fucking... well, sorry, I, I, sorry. I know I said I didn't get excited for him, and I'm not. I think he has another string to our bow. I'm not excited by him. Let's see what he does. But everyone that I, everyone that I've been speaking to this week has slagged him off. Yeah, so that's a bad signing. I can't get. I can't understand that. Well, this is what I mean. He, he, no one really knows what to expect from him. He's tall. He doesn't mm. look like he should be fast. No, no he's he's, agree, he's yeah. quick again and behind. Mm. He's his head switched on. You've got Kudus that is he shouldn't be as physical as he is. Oh, you can't get ball off him. But he yeah. is. And then you've got Bowen that shouldn't have the the strength to hold off and hold up play, mm. but he does. Yeah. Suchek. He shouldn't be quick. He is though. Um, I think they... and Mavropanos as well. He's another one that you think Greek slow type centre back, slow transitioning. He's yeah. the opposite. The biggest change this year, single handedly, and anyone who watches anyone who watches West Ham this season will see this. Is you saw all season. You've seen it all actually through his whole career. Faith in the centre is Antonio. Always, always went at, uh, sorry, into out, not out to him for a yeah. striker's movement. When you saw his heat map, I actually saw it the other day, his heat map and Fulcrook's heat map last year. Antonio is so prevalent in those final third down the side. Yeah. And then in the box, but not really any 
any of that. You know that if you draw a line from the from the two uh, from the two penalty the yeah. penalty box side in the center, he didn't do that middle third thing. I saw Fulcrook's heat map. All he does is sit there. Because you know what? If you, if you watch Dortmund, you watch West Ham last season. West Ham loved cross cross balls. Yeah. And yeah. I feel Antonio was always going. Yeah, well, that, that way. Our, our whole he's... thing was pass out from the back four into Paqueta's feet at the le- at the left. That's why he played out on the left yeah. to try and think he wasn't getting marked as heavily, and then fucking twat it towards but, towards Bowen. I mean, towards, so but yeah. to be fair, yeah. now, like you said, we've got that person in the middle that he's good air really. He's got the finishing. Mm-hmm. It will be. I, I'm very interested to see how well uh, people call it. Uh, do you know what? I gen- and it's not a conspiracy. I think people have looked at it gone, oh, you've got, you got Dortmund's main striker. That would be a shit signing, mate. I think it's just anti-West Ham strike. No, I was genuinely... Look, he wasn't their main striker. But my thing is, it, is when, I, when I mean... I don't know how you call someone... It, I know he's 31. I know he costs 30 million. But he played under a Nagelsmann system in Ge- for, for Germany, national team. All right, fair enough. They aren't gifted with a lot of strikers at the moment. But... He still was in there, mm. and and Nagelsmann dropped a lot of stars that German squad. He's he he got twenty goal involvement. He didn't look out a place in the Champions League. What's the problem? He should have scored oh. in the Champions League final. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had, he had a yeah. Great chance way in the yeah, header in the box, and he it went wide. Well, even in the Euros, he had another absolutely amazing chance that he only only just went over the bar. That's I, what I, I think feel we're you guys against... are missing. You're missing that strike. Well, no, you're not. But you're missing that it's strike. The danger, isn't it? He's there. Yeah, he knows mm. where to be, and that's what we like. We like the person to just poach. It's the Harland. It's the Harland always in the right place at the right time. Sort of. Thing. That's yeah. that's what we've been missing for a while, and I think that's what like Spurs were very well. What, what I mean is, what like, Spurs were very lucky like, with. Like, so whenever Antonio wasn't firing, did you ever look at our team and think, "Oh, they're a threat"? Up until last year, no. Um, you thought last year we were a threat? Yeah, well, you bet us two, three times already. Bad two or three times, sorry. Um. That's mad. Before that, I was always confident. And then actually, I think 10 minutes into our first game, it was sort of like, oh, you can't use, use, our, use our here to play. Use our here for the win. You're not here to just show face and kick a ball about. You actually wanted to beat us. That was the first time, I would say, a few years at least. Probably since when you bet us first day of the season. What was that? Five years ago? Yeah, 15, mm. 16. Oh, years. 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 Yeah, you know that's a long, that's it's a long time. Isn't it? So up until last year, no, I didn't, I didn't see West Ham as a threat to us. Um, now you've got all these players in. I think. I see. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I would love for you to actually go in to a English Cup, whether that be Carabao Cup, FA Cup, and go far in it. At least semis final. Because when was the last time you were that far into the Canary Cup? Oh, years ago. Yeah, years no, ago. I, I I agree with you, actually. I, like, as much as, obviously, Moyes winning us a trophy, fair play, loved it, it was amazing. I would, I'd would like I, I'd like to see us do something in England, no, I don't know, whether or not it is Carab. I don't, I'm not expecting, like, the league. I'm not expecting yeah. the FA Cup, like, to win the a, FA a, Cup. But... A boy in my work, I know, he's always going to sound like that, and he's a boy in my work, and that. he ain't a West Ham fan. He thinks top. He, he, he backs you too. He thinks top four is doable. I, I genuinely, I, I don't think. I, do, if, I think fourth. Fourth would be the max. I think you'll get, but you're definitely in top six. I agree. I think if if do you finish if, above Spurs? Yes. Yeah. If J if wow, J Lo gets this team working, and he gets it working properly, I I, I genuinely don't see an issue with us doing top four. One other question, because I brought this up to Ben midweek, is how far down the line do you see it? If it isn't working, when when do you call it and you go, no, you know what, he's getting sacked? Christmas. No. You know what? I'd be unfair. After January, after that transfer and, window. And do you think that's dependent on... So, so if, wait, if, you gave, if you gave me Saturday, next Saturday, R5, and we lost, say, 3-2, but we looked really good, that, I wouldn't mind. That, that's what I was going to say then. When I say that, I mean use our bottom, right? Okay. Bottom, bottom, like near a relegation in the yard to fucking Europe, and you're getting pumped every second game. Because you don't agree with that, do you? No, no. I think you give him a minimum of the season. Um, and I, 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 and I would say that's the bare minimum. I think. So, so I think he gets this season either way. 
whether, however we play, as long as there is an improvement on the football. What happens if you go down to the championship then? You take relegation. That, that, that would be my question. If you're getting pumped 4-0, 4-1 yeah. every no, no, second, third game, are you then still going to be... It doesn't mark who's still well, transitioned well, he's still passed well, played well. It depends, because if it looked like... Under Moyes, I would say at times we look completely hopeless and I wanted him out straight away. Mm-hmm. Whereas I think if we were hopeless from the start of the season up to, like you said, January, I'd be sitting there and going, if there is no sign of improvement or there is no, like, if there is no win or, like, some sort of improvement in between that, then, yeah, obviously. If you want, if you lost every game since the start of the Prem, yeah. then, yeah, I'd say bin him. As in, what I'd I mean- say if we had on and off results... Then no, I would say he gets the season. No, no, no. So I, I agree with that. Anything, anything, anything more than a relegation fight, I think you keep him because he, the thing is, he's if you look at it, he's trying to steer a whole club into a different way of playing yeah, football. Yeah. But I also as well, I, I don't know if the owners will. I think playing negative football for four or five years, and then changing to a manager that wants to turn that around, you've invested in him. You got to give him the time. Yeah, because if, if you I don't, I, I I agree. Obviously, if we're in a relegation fight, you sit there, and if he's barely, he's not won a game. Yeah, okay, it's not worked. You got a, you you might need to get rid of him. But on and off results, playing good football, then in my opinion, you have to give him the season. Well, he, I, I can guarantee one thing: is next week I'm not on the pod next week, but next week he will not get to any stick from me if we lose against Villa and the performance is good. No, no. And yeah. I, I will be like that until the way I've always looked at this football season is you fall whereabouts whereabout you are after October. See, I don't look at a table until really late September, early October. Do you know what? I'll just be happy to see. Won it in November. <laughs> the, the, if I was a West Ham fan, right, and I'm looking at next week, Aston Villa, who are they're in the Champions League or they're yeah. not? They're in the Champions League. They had a good English campaign last season as long as it's competitive yeah that's what I mean yeah as long that's what I'd be looking for yeah a win bonus cherry on top do you know what would be unreal but I, if I was a West Ham fan I just want to show a bit of fight do you yeah. know what would be unreal if we actually turned round and smashed the granny out of them I don't think we will because I don't think that's really possible against Villa I don't think they've ever really had it, had it tight under Emery and I don't think they really leak goals like that but if we could somehow play this really attractive way of playing football, mm-hmm. apparently it was brilliant yesterday, the whole game. Um, and we we didn't just, we beat them comfortably. It would be... Do you know what I'm genuinely look, happy and looking forward to? No worries. Uh, yeah. no, well, that and uh, proactive subs. Maybe. Not Hold waiting it. 85 minutes in a system that isn't working for a bloody substitute. Do you know what, actually, sorry, one thing when we go on to it, if Moyes ever needs to know the West Ham way, and this did piss me off last week and it's still pissing me off now, is if he needs to check what the West Ham way is, go back and check that Paquetta goal. Because that is what I call the West Ham way. Or just watch Slav. Forward, forward foot, one touch football. That's all I'm looking for. Mm. Silky stuff. We ain't going to win leagues. That's fine. But can we play all right football? Yeah, yeah. In all honesty, I'm content in being a West Ham fan if we play good football and turn a couple of big club, clubs over yeah. here and there. I'm happy with that. Just upsetting a big club here or there. I oh, just... you know what? You turn up, get a slap. I'm happy. I'm happy with that. Just not us so shit. <laughs> Fuck me. That was, that was awful. But one thing I don't think you'll see is a 5-0, a 5-2... A six-one, but that's what I'm seeing. Four two is if those results. If you have like, injuries, if you have like proper injuries and you've actually had them, you've had to put like a uh, defender at centre back. Yeah, right. But you know what I mean. I don't think you'll see. It. I don't think you'll see. It. I mean, that was a full team. That six-one was a full team. Mm. I would maybe touch with again because something happened to Villa. No, no, no. But Barbara Kettle, that was a full team against Arsenal in the January. The five-two full team, five-nil against Fulham, full team, five-one against uh, Chelsea, full I, team. I think you won't see that this year. I, I, I don't think so. I, I think you won't you be there long. Opposite. I think you'll see an awful lot of. You're just outscoring. Oh, I, I'm, yeah. Where it doesn't. Where it doesn't no, no, matter how good or bad the defence is, 
You score one, we'll score two. I think we'll concede goals, but I think we will score them. And well. I think compared to the 10% possession crap that we were playing, I'm actually ha- I'm okay with that. We've we had more possession like, in every single game Jado's has been charged yeah. so far. And the fact is, last yeah, year too. we had next to no possession and we were still hemorrhaging goals. So in all yeah. honesty, mate, I'll take hemorrhaging goals if we're scoring them as well. Yeah. I don't like. I, I genuinely don't care if we conceded another seventy this year, as long as we're outscoring those seventy. Yeah. I, I genuinely don't care. I, I would. I even would say, as an Arsenal fan, looking at West Ham this year, I haven't been this excited to watch or see how a team does, especially West Ham, from when you had Payet. Would well, you know what it feels that's, like? That's the last time I actually yeah. looked at West Ham yeah. and thought. Wow. That that feels it feels like a pipe season, but do you know what it also feels like as well pre season is what the the sort of positivity Spurs had last year with Ange. It's that sort of you know what football's coming out. 